All right, welcome to Music in Motion's overview of our 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle Malibu edition from uh, Elite Rustamods. Um, as you can tell, what's catching your eyes first and foremost is probably the trunk. We've got uh, two Arc Audio 12-inch uh, subwoofers um, in the trunk. Uh, buried in that panel, access panel, is a Helix Ultra uh, DSP. We often use the Arc Audio um, PS8 DSP, but we like the, the controller, the conductor a lot better, the Helix piece. <clears throat> Back there is our fusing um, power. And then we've got a couple uh, amps uh, back here. When it's all systems powered up, you can, uh, uh, you know, there's there, the Arc Audio logos light up. It's RGB, so you can kind of choose your connections there. Um, we've got one powering the subs, and then we've got one powering the fronts and the rear deck as well. Um, <clears throat> into the, the car itself, um, in the rear deck, it's a little hard to see, frankly. Um, but basically, you've got... Um, um, a vented uh, ported enclosure. This is a this is a fourth order bandpass, so it's a sealed as well as ported enclosure. We've got um, rear fill um, back here, and then we've got the, um, the the vent for all the base to come in. Um, on the back area here, um, you've got um, a couple cup holders for the custom console, so anyone in the back can be uh, comfortable. There's also some USB chargers um, as well. Um, the magic kind of happens in, the, in this in this system. Uh, we really want uh, all of our cars to be, well, the rest are mods, but we want the interior to be modern and feel like you're in a brand new vehicle. I'm actually gonna sit in this car uh, in just a second, but before I do. So here's an armrest, we uh, fabricated all that. There's actually a wireless charger uh, right down here, which is kind of convenient. Um, even in my 2022, our demo vehicle, our 2022 GMC Sierra, um, there's only one one charger, one wireless charger, which is kind of frustrating. So, as we move into the um, to the car, uh, we'll continue on with the, I guess the console tour. Um, all the window the power window controls, two more um, uh, cup holders, another wireless charger. Um, we have a Pioneer 8500 in here. It's um, uh, nine and a half inch display. It's wireless CarPlay, so you get all the conveniences of CarPlay, but now it's wireless, so you don't have a bunch of wires. And that's kind of the whole point. Um, everything's wireless charging. You just don't need any wires anywhere. You can control everything from your phone. You can control it with Siri, for crying out loud. And then down here, you can't see them very well, but here's our kick panels. Um, all custom, looks like the, they came uh, installed with the vehicle. Um, but we took a lot of time and effort to make this look just like uh, GM would put this in. The, the car is um, got a push button uh, start uh, right here. And uh, it's just, uh, it's phenomenal. So you've got nice, uh, nice power. I think we have 180 to all the front speakers, um, to each speaker in the front, I should say. Um, it's, it's loud, it's loud and it's proud. And it just fits um, a muscle car. We didn't want to do too much of a system to take away from the fact this is one of the baddest Chevelles you're ever going to find. Um, but at the same time, <laughs> we got this car from Elite Rust Mods. It was already pretty darn nice, um, but it had an old radio, old deck. The console was trash. So, um, so we just upgraded it, put a new system in it, and now this thing is Elite. Thus the name Elite Rust Mods. So music in motion, uh, anything that goes on the road, on the water, on a golf course, we can do just about anything. And uh, as you can tell, um, we pulled no punches with this build. Um, so an LS7, left the engine block, uh, orange. Um, the diehards will understand why. Others might paint it black, that's okay. Um, it's just, it's, just it's, it's, it's an incredible car. Um, just an incredible car. And uh, another one in the books for, for Music in Motion and Elite Rustamads.